Life and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the Masters of the Universe Skeletor figure. Now of course these are like the uh, retro play figures which are like updated versions of the, uh, the past Masters of the Universe type figures. Guys actually used to have this Skeletor figure. I actually still have, if I'm not mistaken, I actually still have this particular Skeletor figure. Like I think like, like stored away somewhere and it was the same one I had from when I was actually like, a kid. So that's how long I have had that. Now of course you know this is based on the uh, Masters of the Universe like, animated series. Now I have a, a few of the episodes right here on this volume. This has like 20 episodes of uh, E-Man and the Masters of the Universe. I also remember getting to see uh, Masters of the Universe in the theater like back in 1987. The one for Dolph Lundgren that's E-Man. I remember going to see it at the theater. I can remember being like very... Uh, hype for seeing like my anticipation was so high for seeing that movie because I was like a huge He-Man fan or Masters of the Universe fan at the time. So I think it's cool that Mattel has like a reissue of these figures, you know, with like updated like articulation and so on. So I'm definitely gonna get into this uh, right now. <laughs> As you can see, it's, it's just what well, very similar to like, the past, like Masters of the Universe figures from the past, like the packaging, but it does say a uh, retro. Uh, Play like modern posing, says Skeletor, Evil Lord of Destruction, Masters of the Universe at the top. And of course, you see images of like other figures, like in this first wave that's like available now. I haven't seen all of them in the store. This also says includes comic book. It also gives a scripture for Skeletor too. It says, uh, The Nefarious Overlord Skeletor wants to control the power within Castle Grayskull. So I'm going to uh, open this on up. And like with the uh, He-Man figure, you also get this collectible comic book, Beast Barrage. This is like it's the same old uh, comic book too. It also shows uh, images of like the other figures in this way. Okay, as you can see, there is the Masters of the Universe Skeletor figure, retro style from uh, Mattel. I measure him. And he's just over six inches. Almost seven inches. So I'm gonna talk about the uh, articulation and likeness of the figure. So this does look just like the Skeletor figure and some like the past. And I used to have the same Skeletor. I believe it was this one. I still actually have it. Like right now, I believe I still had this like stored away somewhere. So it is kind of cool seeing these again. You know, I don't think about it. They're, they're just updated. And see, I do remember that you were able to actually take these off too. Cause I remember I used to take them off my figures and just had them like a uh, like shirtless. Or ominous. And I know they had to stay in their legs where you could pull them out to get them like a, I think a little straighter or you could have them bent. But I just keep mine like that. But like his arms do go up and out like this. Because you know these apparently have like better articulation in them. I know the skeletal arm is kind of stiff right here. Like you can't really bend it. But it does have to bend in it. I just leave it up, but they do go out like this. You can split. Hand can turn. Leg can go. He has a bend in the knee, too. I like how they bend, too. He got good uh, articulation. I can't remember if the old figures were really like this, you know. I really can't uh, really recall. But I like the muscularity of them and so on. That's also like the biceps. The triceps, the abdominals, even like the obliques, the thighs, the calves, and I always thought that was awesome. Even like his back muscles, you know. I always thought that was like awesome looking. The head can like turn around, so he, could, he has good articulation. The head goes up. Kind of go down, but it's kind of limited. And you can turn to the side and so on. And he stands up pretty well too. He also has that like page on there. You want to put him back on the stand. But he does uh, stand uh, pretty good. Now I want to move on to the accessories that come with the uh, Skeletor figure. This right here is the uh, Havoc Staff. So this is like a Skeletor's primary weapon that he really uses. Then he also has the uh, Power Sword too. You know, of course, which is very similar to the one that He-Man has. It's just a different color. Now what I want to do is compare this. Give a comparison with this and the, uh, the He-Man figure too as well. An updated He-Man figure. 
just give you like a size comparison of the two. Yeah. And they both had a power source too, because you know the power source. You can take them and like both of them had these like pegs on, like this is like heat man zone, this is skeletal zone. Then I think you can just like sandwich them together. Like you press them together. And there it is, it makes this sword. Ah, I forgot about this too from the cartoons. So it's kind of thicker. I know it's up there you can't really get to stay together, you know. Because there's nothing got to pay to get so it would be like that. Okay, there's the Mattel Masters of the Universe Retro Play Skeletor figure. And again, these are like updated versions of the classic like Masters of the Universe figures from like the early 80s. And I used to actually have this figure. I still actually do have if I'm not mistaken. I like, stored away somewhere. This particular Skeletor figure from the early 80s. I used to be like a huge fan of like Masters of the Universe, like He Man, like in general. Like I said, I remember going to start the uh, 1987 like Masters of the Universe film for Dolph Lundgren as He Man and Frank Legale as a Skeletor. I remember going to see it at the theater. I remember I couldn't wait to see it. When they had like the idea they had like a live action He Man film at the time, that was just like truly un like amazing, you know, that's why I was happy that we I went to see that. I also have like this uh right here like on the D V D this has like a uh, twenty episodes of a He Man and television series or Masters of the Universe animated series. Cause I knew that they have the complete series now too as well, like on the D V D. I think Blu ray too, you can get like the complete uh series completely. But yeah, I would definitely recommend for like fans of these kind of retro style figures like the past, especially if you like grew up on these, it, it will be probably a good idea to pick these up again, you know. And I'm not too sure if I'm going to all of them, you know, because I know they have like other figures too. I'm just thinking about it, but yeah, I would definitely recommend this, you know. So this is the Mattel Masters of the Universe Skeletor figure. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well. He man, <laughs>